Hi everyone and welcome to this special YouTube video. In this video I'm going to be reviewing my new Microsoft Surface Pro 7 device that I ordered from Microsoft Australia slash New Zealand. Now this device just came out recently. Um, Microsoft announced it early October through a press conference held in New York. Um, yeah, so I was really interested in it because I've already always been bought up with um, HP so it's not now a good time to switch to Microsoft Surface Pro will be my first Surface Pro. I, their main warehouse in Australia is located in Melbourne so that's pretty cool. Um, these are some clips that I took earlier this year of the Surface Pro 6 selling in Noel Leeming stores in Wellington. So let's talk about the Microsoft Surface Pro 7 that I got. It hit, it's the 256 gigabyte i7 version. It has the new Intel Core i7 6, i7 1065G7, such a technical CPU name. Intel just released it this quarter of the year. So they released it quarter three. 2019 which is the new ice lake cpu it also has intel iris plus graphics which is amazing because it has a lot more gpu cores than the standard uhd graphics that comes with with intel it's the equivalent gpu power of an e mx150 gtx m150 so yeah i'm so stoked to get this device um microsoft has been promoting it very well i ordered it off microsoft because it comes in different model versions with different specs for the surface pro 7 and new zealand retailers only stock the i5 basic model and the i3 basic model they don't stock the i7 so you have to order it through microsoft new zealand or microsoft australia so they shipped it to me they put it on prior to shipping which is nice through dhl which is an international shipping company that specializes in delivering goods to australia and new zealand so this is my new it's a cute box this um so yeah i'm pretty happy to get this guy uh, device even though it costs quite a bit and it can be quite a bit, a bit expensive but if you look at HP equivalents to this which are similar to this they are selling for a lot more in New Zealand and Australia and they only have like 8th gen Intel processors so yeah this is the specs that come with comes with it 256 gigs this is the Alcantara Ice Lake or as Justin Justine from YouTube puts it Icy Lake um, type cover of Alcantara. Uh, it's good. It's apparently flame resistant like the Samsung has made for the S8 and S9 phone cases. But they don't, Samsung isn't making it for the S10 any Alcantara which is kind of sad so I had to get the Otter box. But I'm getting off topic here so let's get back on track. So it has a 10th gen Intel Core Ice Lake, which is a cute name, um, quad core, not dual core CPU. So it's a big step up from the Surface Pro 6, which only has an 8th gen processor that doesn't have Iris Plus graphics, so it only has UHD graphics. Whereas this generation, we're getting the Iris Plus, and if, if you get the i5 or the i7 versions of the Pro 7, you get the iris plus graphics which is great the i7 has more cores than uh, gpu cores than the um, i5 processor uh, the i7 gets the 64 execution units thing according to notebook check um, so yeah it's pretty good also has this gen also has ddr4x ram so we're moving away from the kind of obsolete very old ddr3 ram it's faster ddr4 is faster and it's more energy efficient than ddr3 so yeah that's pretty good and yeah so um intel plus graphics i'm very happy to that they put it in this this um generation also i'm very happy that microsoft managed to release this the new series i7 uh, pro 7 
this year because they know it's we're approaching the end of the decade so get it out this year rather than having to wait next decade next decade which is next year now it works very well in tablet form even though the windows 10 isn't a hundred percent tablet friendly due to the way they make the software and spamming us with humongous updates every month that are mandatory <laughs> Um, one note, it's pretty good. So it's pretty good for mobility because it's ultra portable, much more portable than your standard average 15 inch laptop. It weighs a lot less um, and it's very compact and portable and it's so versatile. Uh, it's a two-in-one tablet slash laptop. It has a full power of a, lap a good laptop. So it has a quad-core processor. Um, my version has 16 gigs of DDR4X RAM and 256 gigs. Now, I decided, decided to not get the 500 gigabyte version because Microsoft is ripping us off in terms of the difference between SSD storage. So they're charging like in New Zealand, Microsoft New Zealand is charging and Microsoft is char charging like 500 to 700 dollars more between the 256 gig and the 512 gig storage so it is a rip off there but otherwise it's a good pro product it's a good idea that they create this um, it's for all age groups as well which is great this is me shooting I took it to the botanical gardens in Wellington because I live in Wellington New Zealand which is the capital of New Zealand um, so that's the pen charcoal black pen that's the ice blue Alcantara signature um, type cover. I am doing this commentary at 3.50 a.m. on Saturday morning so I've been fucking to get this video edited and up onto my YouTube channel. So what prompted me to get this and serve the Surface Pro X? Well the Surface Pro X, X can't run full Windows 10 64-bit programs so it's like a Qualcomm it's got like a Qualcomm co-engineered with Microsoft. As you, if you live in Australia and New Zealand, you'll know that Qualcomm products don't really sell here. Samsung manufactures the Xenos version for Australia and New Zealand for our smartphones. So we're not familiar with um, Qualcomm products because we're not American. We're Australian or New Zealand here. So yeah, it's a pretty good product. I'm very intrigued about it. It has a USB-A, USB 3.0 port, as well as a USB Type-C port for charging. However, do know I have tried contacting Microsoft support two times with different agents, Microsoft support agents, and they both recommended that I need, you can't just use your regular USB-C charger that you use for even the higher end smartphones out today, like the uh, iPhone Pro. 11, 11 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy 10 Plus which I just got recently. So this is me unboxing the my product for the first time. Decided to do it at the Botanic Gardens in Wellington because it was quite a good day. So the screen it has a 12.3 inch pixel sense Corning Gorilla glass protected display. A resolution of 2736 by 1824 brackets 267 ppi whatever that means an aspect ratio of 3.3.2 rather than your standard 16.9 but I guess this is better suited for tablets it has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is why I prompted what prompted me to get this more than the Surface Pro X. Now one thing you know if you have the Surface Pro, uh, Pro devices is they the screen is very gloss, glossy and very reflective so it reflects like a mirror. It's not like it's a matte screen or an anti-glare screen what HP sells in their displays on their laptops. So it is glossy, so it will reflect like a mirror in bright sunlight. So this is my bedroom setup, my first custom desktop PC, which is an i7-6700K processor and an EVGA GTX 1070SC. I use this for gaming because I play like the higher games like Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo, which are very demanding on 
hardware specific. They need really good hardware to run well enough. So this is my HP White AB2 to TX laptop that I got for you four years ago. Um, it's pretty good, but it's very slow. Um, the Surface Pro 7 is more powerful than that. My HP laptop, which I'm gonna um, give away. Um, so yeah, it's more powerful because it's got a quad core processor that my HP laptop only has a dual core 6200U processor from Intel. Um, the HP laptop also only has a 5400PM uh, mechanical cool hard drive HDD, whereas the um, Surface Pro has an SSD. It's not the fastest SSD, but it's an SSD. You can do like 500 me megabytes or something like that. <laughs> it's like up to five times faster than regular HDDs. So this is, I'd contact them, Microsoft, regarding um, why my USB wasn't charging. Oh, you'll need to get like a 65 watt USB USB, uh, you'll need to get a um, USB Type C uh, 65 watt or higher adapter in order to charge it because otherwise it will say USB C not charging, it will just, they'll still be able to transfer files via USB C, which is good. It's great this gen that they finally release USB C for the Surface Pro lineup, which is great. And my voice is croaky because it's 3 54 a.m. in this morning. Um, in the morning for me on a Saturday, but I had the whole weekend off. Um, some other facts is it has a 3.5 headphone jack. The Surface Pro X doesn't. The Surface Pro X also doesn't have USB A port, and it also doesn't have a um, Wi Fi 6, it only has Wi Fi 5. And also, um, this Surface Pro 7 has Wi-Fi 6, which is great. It means faster, more secure, more stable Wi-Fi connections as well, um, even though it doesn't have LTE. But then you can just um, tether your phone wirelessly or by USB cable um, to your Surface Pro to get internet, which is fine. It also has a SDXC slot, so it doesn't have the standard SD a universal slot that you find in USB, um, HP laptops, but it is a compact device, so they have to slim it down to SDXC. Um, that's fine because they sell SD um, adapters, retail uh, manufacturers sell those. Um, yeah, it has the better Intel Wi Fi 6 802.11 AX connectivity, Bluetooth 5.0. Um, I have installed Steam, Planet Zoo, over 200 photos, pictures from my HP laptop to um, my Surface Pro 7, and my pictures library take, doesn't even take up one gigabyte of SSD space. It takes up a lot less. Um, as soon as you get the 256 gigabyte variant uh, for the Surface Pro 7, you'll have 200 um, gigabytes free. So you get slightly more um, free space than you did with last gen's uh, Surface Pro 6, which is great because I have done my research. Um, I've also installed AVG Internet Security on my thing, as well as PowerDirector 16, um, but I can't use PowerDirector 16 on both my, um, on more than one device simultaneously, unless I decide to cheat and disconnect, but I'm not really dodgy. Um, yeah, uh, also here, I also have a license for Microsoft Word X slash Excel 2016, which I use on my computers, which is great. Now I've shot this at the Botanical Gardens at my home and at my work, so you'll see clips of this in my video. It is a heavily edited video. And this is the system specs. Also decide to I'm all I ordered this through um, a person called Sabrina from Microsoft Support. Um, she said the call center for Australia, Australasia is based in Singapore or the Philippines, something like that. Um, so the two-year Microsoft Accidental Protection Plan is New Zealand two hundred forty-nine dollars. 
includes an additional year on top, so it includes two years total hardware warranty. So that ups it from your regular 12 month hardware warranty. Plus it protects you against um, spills and screen, screen damages, which is quite good. So this video is less than 23 minutes long, so it's watchable. It's less than my video that I made for my when I got my HP laptop in 2015. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's good for all age groups, whether you're in school, uni, or at work, or personal, or you're taking on the plane. It's much more better taking this on, while commuting on the school bus or the bus or train or airplane rather than taking your big bulky laptop with you because it does cut down on space having this device and it's so versatile as well. Okay, so I'm going to I decided to install Planet Zoo on my um, thing. I was going to install The Sims 4 but I don't really play it much anymore. Likewise with City Skylines and Planet uh, Coast, I decided just to keep it on my um, custom desktop PC because that is a Damani game. So I decided to just have one game installed on my Surface Pro 7 and that's uh, Planet Zoo. So I'm just gonna do share some gameplay of Planet Zoo. It's a new game released by Frontier this month. So it also has a 5 megapixel front facing camera, it also has Windows Hello which is great. Um, as for the Face ID sign in, um, security strength, um, it's probably not as secure as Apple's software technology. Um, it does sign in quite quick though, but I know say if I have to um, wear, take off my glasses. So I sometimes wear glasses, um, they are have to put them on, or if it's in low light, like at night time and I have the lights on, sometimes it won't pick me up, so I'll just have to sign a manually, which is fine. So Planet Zero, it's a, an amazing game, I'm into simulation games. So 5 megapixel front facing camera, 8 megapixel rear facing camera with autofocus. Both can do 1080p recording, but not 4K, so it's still right. So yeah, um, so I noticed that the Surface Pro X does have two Gen 2 USB-C ports. I'm not sure what the USB-C port on the Surface Pro is. Surface Pro 7 is Don't either Gen 1 or Gen 2. Gen 1 does 5 gigabytes per second and Gen 2 does like 10 gigabytes per second transfer speed. Um, hopefully it should be like universal between the two so the Surface Pro 7 probably just gets one of the ports which does and the Pro X gets two. But it, the Pro X doesn't have a headphone jack um, and it also doesn't have Wi-Fi 6. It doesn't have um, quite a few things. Each one has their own pros and cons. So I decided to go with the Surface Pro 7 because more people are more familiar with Intel than um, thing. And also AMD. There is an AMD variant but it's only for the laptop version. So the Surface Laptop 3 has the AMD technology. So I'm coming up to almost the end of the video. It is a good product. Um, it is versatile. I did get a tiny chip, um, very tiny chip. It's it just my, very minor cosmetic damage. I did put like my wrap it, put it in my glove um, that I use for my laptop, 15 inch HP laptop. But um, I put it in with my pen, and the pen magnetic um, connection isn't. Um, it comes off by itself easily and uh, that must have been what happened so it must have scratched against it and caused a minor tiny tiny dent but that's fine um so yeah thank you for watching this um view i give this a an 8 out of 10 it's very good um serviceability it is an issue it's rated poorly but it's under warranty so yeah thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you guys later
Oh, and before I go, um, so I'm able to play this game surprisingly in 1080p, uh, Planet Zoo, but on pretty much low settings, everything. So I'm quite happy that this can play this game because it is a very demanding game, Planet Zoo. So it's neat. So it's a very powerful workhorse for the design and compact it is. So yeah, I'm going to leave it off there. Thank you for watching. Bye.